Welcome back guys, I'm Cameron and today I'm gonna show you how to play the game called Urban Legend Survival. So I've seen that many of um, my friends on YouTube are playing this game and I see that many people are struggling with those Urban Legends, the monsters. If you are of course playing this game you're gonna see that you're gonna understand what kind of game it is and what hard it is, what kind of hard game it is. So today I will show you how to play this game smart and there is a trick that which I discovered myself by playing this game is that if you do this one you will most likely beat this game um, maybe you can see my score is 21 this is one of the biggest scores but today I'll try to beat my own record and maybe if possible to uh, beat this game completely but I'm gonna show you how to do this so since you start you have 100 seconds and you have to go to the light right so in order to kill that ghost and light torch uh, light everything up right i'm not gonna do that i will like a little bit increase my speed going like this a little bit finding the place as everybody played this game you cannot get out of the city like the all these uh the buildings are uh, blocking each other and that's why there is not a place to get, get out of the matrix wrong i found like two places two secret places where you can go there is actual little hole where you can get out of this place but the monsters cannot reach you even though they want they can't do this because the system doesn't allow that it's a kind of small bug that which allows you to beat this game and take advantage of this game so i will don't i don't care i will run because i will try to find this place and with you after doing this trick you'll be able to beat this game but of course for this a little bit of efficiency is needed for that but we're good we're gonna make it so i'm running through this one that one and this is the edge right that's supposed to be the edge where there's like supposed to be like the matrix I'll try to find it here if I can of course I'll try my best yes I found it yeah that's the place so as you see here no monster can hunt me anymore now on except for the bug the bug is a pain in the ass i'll try to trap it here because it can come for the right it seems kind of trapped the reason why because i will run further when i will run further this little bug will try to stop me first thing first i will eliminate here how i will do this I will trap it here so that it will never be able to hunt me again. So I'm just seeing if it follows me here. Because these are the plane, right? They can't go anywhere. All the monsters. You see? Actually when you hit this, it usually like like runs or goes away. But it can't because it's stuck in system. So what I have to do is to hit this and push it to the edge while holding like forward going forward by holding the action here at the same time repeatedly bump it so that you can move to the edge i'm gonna show you why so as we go move forward so from this point on the monsters are no one for me they can't do anything to me. You technically move, but you have to get rid of this bug, you know? Simply staying on the pavement doesn't help you. You have to move it to the edge. So also planning is very important. So why exactly to the edge? 
because when you leave the edge, you're actually going inside the matrix of the game. There's a like hole, it's a void, where you can see the whole city, you can like wander around the city, but no one's gonna see you, no one's gonna touch you. Because the more forward you go, the deeper it goes. So, and then move this side. Just keep like bumping and going forward repeatedly. This icon just remains, so it can't move, it can't hold anymore, it's stuck here forever. So you can run as much as you want, wherever you want. And also the meat, like meat monster, like which is which has a like, you know, like the, the face on the stomach or something. This monster is not gonna bother you anymore. So you can do wherever you want. But there is only one thing guys, you have to at all cost keep distance from those trees. Where the people are hung, you know, these dead bodies. They will wake up and they will hunt you. So that's why. The only concern is this one. And about the guy, the meat guy, don't worry about him. Even though you run, he's not gonna run fast. He's gonna, like, you know, like walk as usual. Of course, you shouldn't touch him, but. But you, you see, I can still hear his voice. See? He can do nothing to me. Here he stays, but after I go. Around the city, it can come, but it's not gonna run. But I have to run because it will trigger actually the ghosts which are protecting the torch. They will run, you know, for me. But I have to do this because if I don't run, they will be stuck on the torch because of the bug, you know. After I've done all of this, they're stuck on their places. So which means that if I like just don't run, just go and just stomp it, this place, actually in the first they're not like stuck here. Otherwise, like there's gonna be bug, you're, you're not gonna score anymore, that's the problem. I have to run. Now let's get to the other place. We we'll have to find a way out. You can run. The only the only thing you have to do is to run away from them in order to go to these lights, and that's all. Meat guy is nothing, but also keep distance from those the trees. Yeah. So we're good. We're going to next destination. The good thing is that you can like score like faster, much faster than you just normally play this one. If you find out like this game's, you know, the matrix and what kind of like, you know, bugs it has, then you can just do it. It's not hacking, it's just like, you know, it's like using the brain. I mean, it's simply like, you know, finding the vulnerable places of the game. So next target. So you have to first of all see where the light is at first hand and then like run to it.
be careful with guys also don't approach the objects too close otherwise you can get stuck and they will punch you so that's really important Just constantly run, non-stop running. Do not stop, guys. Don't worry. Just, just hold distance. Just run, non-stop away. Don't try to get caught with these guys, by these guys, and that's it. That's what you only have to do. Okay, okay, got it. And you see? Just keep running. Just don't pay attention guys, just keep running. I don't know why it's stuck. Oh, okay. Now it sees me. <laughs> Where is the next one? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, I got this. So, yeah, yeah. so also, guys, try to like move like on a very often spaces. Because otherwise, if you like walk like through, like running like too much through the buildings, you can potentially get stuck. So the best way is to is to like you know an open space because you because you can determine the places of this guys. So also, my recommendation: do not play this game with headphones. Yeah, she really like it too. Too sensitive. Look like this.
Oh, so far so good. I hope it's gonna be fine that I can do my record. Also watch out this past, you know, stages. This place well, that's why I'm like walking through, fighting out the way you know, finding a way out. And then, like, yeah, We paid 20 guys. I've guys beating up my record. Congratulations. So, these tactics are useful. They're working, they're operational, so that this way we can forge and we can light it up. So as I told you guys, just try to make up space Try not to be cut by these white bastards They're almost there Open areas, only open areas. Always try to find for yourself the safest area possible without those hanging dead body trees and the bunch of other stuff. Just the safe as safe as possible. Also avoid these trees here.
Then you fall. Try to make sure that these trees do not hang any dead bodies. Do not approach them. Keep distance. Choose the safest way. Oh, so we got already 31, it's gonna be 32, we're heading, we're on the way to light this up. Oh, I've never been so anxious in my life before. Well, not taking into account the interviews and so on, but... Oh. This one scares a lot of me. Come on. The, the, one of the only things that I don't like about this game is these animations, you know? They kind of distract you, you know? Those fucking screams. Oh my god. 